For decades now, we've generally agreed that the future is going to be filled with electric and flying vehicles. I mean, the documentary Back to the Future pretty much confirmed that. Today, we're going somewhere. And where we're going, we don't need roads. From an amazing flying bike to the world's first fixed-wing electric vertical takeoff aircraft, let's take a look at the 15 most unusual flying vehicles that will change the world. <sighs> Number 15. The Flyke With respect to Marty McFly, hoverboards are a thing of the past. The next big thing is all about the flyke, a flying bike. I have to be honest, I think this is the peak of human invention. I find it hard to imagine anybody will top this one. The flyke is the personal project of Malloy Aeronautics, who set out to create the world's first manned hover bike. But when funding got a little short on that project, they decided to start a little smaller. A tricopter, also known as a flying bike. Or flyke. I mean, the copyrights itself. I don't think I have to explain how the bike works. Three pairs of rotors help to get it off the ground, and then you pilot. It's so easy, it's just like riding a flyke. It's highly unlikely that this will be the vehicle that we all end up driving in the future. But it definitely brings us one step closer to a Star Wars world. Pretty soon you'll be able to buy your own Millennium Falcon and then sue your former lover keys it. You know it's coming, guys. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Opener Black Fly. We all know that electric vehicles are the future. It's not just trucks and cars that are facing a gasless future. The flight industry is also facing radical new changes, and the opener Black Fly is leading the way. In fact, it can be piloted right out of the box. The opener Black Fly is the world's first ultraviolet fixed wing all electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. And if that's a lot of words, just think of it as an electric plane that goes straight up and down. That's close enough. After nine years of development, the Black Fly was officially introduced to the world in 2018 and became an immediate hit with investors and vehicle enthusiasts. In fact, pretty much the only downside of this entire plane is that it can't accommodate pilots over 6.5 feet. So if you happen to be a former basketball player looking for a new hobby, you'll have to find another plane. Sorry, bud. The opener Black Fly is very much the start of a whole new era of aircraft. Going forward, you should expect to see more and more electric planes, many of which will be designed in a similarly ergonomic fashion. And who knows, maybe some of you 7 feet giants will be able to fly in one someday. Number 13. Airbus Fahana not only are the planes of the future going to be electric, they're also going to look increasingly like the sinister drones we've long seen in sci-fi movies. But while the Airbus Vahana may look kind of intimidating, it's a real game changer in aviation technology. The Airbus Vahana was an electric-powered eight-propeller prototype designed to be seen as a cost-efficient alternative for short-range urban transportation, such as cars or trains. So instead of waiting hours for a train that may never arrive, you'd commute to work on this unique-looking plane. But Vahana isn't like your average plane, this is a self-steering aircraft. designed as such because the demand for flights would likely end up exceeding the number of required pilots. Thanks to a LiDAR system, alongside cameras and radar technology, the plane can basically fly itself. Truly the stuff of sci-fi dreams. In just three years, the Vahana project illuminated aviation's future. Electric planes that fly themselves. Be honest, would you take a flight on a plane that doesn't require a pilot? Let us know in the comments below. Number 12. Airbus Bird of Prey Airbus concept aircraft generally tend to push the boundaries of what can be done in the world of aviation. But in the case of the Bird of Prey, we're really pushing their limits all over the place. Make no mistake, this is a highly unusual plane. 
with the Bird of Prey concept is a hybrid electric airliner that combines biology with aviation technology. Okay, I made that sound much weirder than it is. The designers were aiming to explore what the future of aviation could be like if designers allowed themselves to be inspired by nature. After studying the mechanics and biology of birds, Airbus designers transformed what could have been a regular old plane into a bird-like concept, with individually controlled feathers, like tips on the wings, and a smooth and curved wing root that resembles a flying bird's natural arc. The designers have crafted a unique concept that could easily work in the real world. While this plane is currently nothing more than a concept, it's entirely possible that future designers could embrace the world of biomimicry should our aircraft take inspiration from the incredible world of nature, we could all be flying on the wings of eagle-like planes in a matter of decades. Actually, I don't want to fly on a wing. That sounds terrifying. Number 11. Volkswagen Hovercar We've been asking about it for decades, and finally, it looks like it's going to happen. Eventually, I mean. Don't get your hopes up anytime soon. But it has to happen at some point. I am, of course, talking about a David Hasselhoff Christmas album, but also it could apply to hover cars, I guess. In order to get a better understanding of what their customers wanted, Volkswagen began an all-new project known as the People's Car Project. By engaging with their Chinese customers, the company got a deeper understanding understanding of their vehicle preferences and requirements. Apparently, Chinese people really prefer hover cars because one of the three concepts that came out of this project was a floating car. Seriously, the hover car is an energy-efficient vehicle which drives along the roads using electromagnetic strips. Like many future concepts, the car is self-driving, though it can be manually controlled. On some level, I think we all knew or hoped that the future of cars would include flying vehicles, but I don't think any of us expected them to be looking like this. This is some men in black business. Now let's get the Neuralizer, and we're all set. Number 10. Ehang 184 Imagine for a second that instead of waiting for an Uber, you could just climb into an autonomous self-flying taxi. That's the future that E. Hang dreamed of when they conceived the E. Hang 184, the world's first AAV capable of driving passengers. Unfortunately, the E. Hang 184 isn't quite the self-flying taxi that the company hoped for. Its name, the 184, describes the stance pretty well. The plane fits one passenger with eight propellers and four arms, but with only one passenger and requiring some kind of pilot, the Ehang 184 is not the kind of vehicle you want to get in after having a particularly raucous and drunken night out. However, it's a great example of where the world is moving. The very idea of autonomous self-flying air taxis is a pretty great one. Given the many unpleasant experiences many of us have had with taxis, the Ehang 184 might might not be the game changer that the company was hoping for, but it's a step in the right direction. Someday we'll have flying taxis without the risk of unprofessional or rude drivers. Live in the dream right there. Number 9. Volocopter 2X The first step to designing a unique, game-changing flying vehicle is to develop a great name, and the Volocopter 2X is a pretty badass name. At least it's better than the original name, the E-Volo. That sounds more like some kind of electric cigarette. The Volocopter 2X is a German two-seat, optionally piloted, multi-rotor electric helicopter. Which, again, is a big way of saying it doesn't use fossil fuels and can fly itself. First introduced in 2017, this aircraft is sold as a ready-to-fly aircraft right out of the box, which surely makes it a pretty appealing vehicle for anybody looking to go flying without poisoning the planet. The Volocopter 2X was designed to be used as an air taxi service in urban areas across Europe, 
which is great news for anybody who isn't afraid of flying. If you are afraid of flying, better start looking into some therapy because the future is airborne. The Volocopter 2X is more than just a cool name. This is just another step closer to the game-changing world of airborne taxis. And you know what? Nothing bad could ever come of self-driving airborne taxis. Right? Right? Number 8. The Cormorant Yes, it's kind of a weird name for a game-changing flying car, but the tactical robotics Cormorant is still a pretty impressive piece of technology. And to be fair, it's a better name than the original Air Mule. Yeah, that's not particularly pretty, right? Designed and built by Israeli tech company Urban Aeronautics, the tactical robotics Cormorant is an unmanned flying car designed for use in search and rescue operations in situations that would be dangerous for a helicopter. But its uses don't stop there. If used with the right equipment, this incredible flying vehicle can be used in even more dangerous situations such as nuclear reactors or contaminated areas. Although we should probably say that it doesn't necessarily mean it's safe. I mean, you'll likely still end up with some pretty brutal side effects, but it'll still be kinda cool to get close to a nuclear reactor at least. So yes, the Cormorant, or Air Mule, may have a kinda weird name, but it's definitely one of the more advanced flying cars in the world. But don't expect to see it speeding through the air in a Fast and Furious movie anytime soon. Not yet, anyway. Number 7. Terrafugia Transition no, contrary to popular belief, the Terrafugia transition is not actually a medical procedure. It is, however, a prototype flying vehicle that's pretty damn cool. And if you operate it incorrectly, you may end up requiring a medical procedure that sounds familiar. Terrafugia began developing the transition back in 2006, though it wasn't until 2009 that this incredible flying car took its first flight. And yes, this is a flying car that can be operated on both land and air. So there is an alternative universe in which Tom Cruise drives one of these and then rockets into the sky during some kind of Mission Impossible type adventure. And despite its somewhat bulky looking exterior, this car can drive up to 70 miles per hour on the road, which is surprisingly speedy for a car that can also fly. At present, there are only two of these impressive vehicles in the world, but believe me, they're in high demand. Pretty much everybody seems to want to experience the magic of a flying car, if only to relive their childhood fantasies, or just feel the magic of a near-death experience. It's all the same thing when you think about it. Number 6. Rolls-Royce Prototype The Rolls-Royce has long been known as the, uh, well, Rolls-Royce of the car industry. But I bet you didn't know that these luxurious vehicles are now airborne. Well, they're actually not. This is a different Rolls-Royce, but they're still taking everything that the rich know and love about the Rolls-Royce and applying it to the world of planes. So, you know, the rich can love those too. The Rolls-Royce F-Tall Flying Taxi is, of course, designed to be used as a flying taxi. Who'd have thought? F-Tall stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing meaning that the whole thing basically functions as a cool-looking helicopter capable of carrying people around. Unfortunately, this unique flying taxi is, at the moment anyway, just a prototype. Still, Rolls-Royce have estimated that a real-life version, based on the concept, could be ready as early as the mid-2020s, meaning this is much closer to reality than we think. Yes, in just a matter of years, you could be traveling from place to place in one of these things. It will undoubtedly change the way you enjoy your nights out forever, or it will never happen and will just look like fools. Still, we'll always have YouTube, right? Here's looking at you, Rolls-Royce of tall flying taxi concept. Number 5. Kitty Hawk's Heaviside Sure, the idea of flying a vehicle called Heaviside doesn't sound like it's gonna end well, but trust me, you're going to want to see this impressive new vehicle dreamed up by the people at Kitty Hawk, a near-silent and wholly unique helicopter. 
Project Heaviside is an 8-motor prototype that is, according to the company themselves, 100 times quieter than the conventional helicopter. Which is super modest of them, the project took over two years in development, and all that work has clearly paid off. Thanks to its carefully designed mechanics, Heaviside is actually far more efficient than many electric vehicles and burns absolutely no fossil fuels on board. Yet still, without those fuels, this impressive vehicle can reach speeds of up to 180 miles per hour. That's gonna get you where you need to go, that's for sure. We already know that the future is going to be electric, but this is a definite example of engineering going above and beyond to make this dream a reality. The heavy side is nowhere near as cumbersome as its name suggests, and it actually looks kinda cool. I mean, what more could you want? An onboard burger bar? Yeah, that that would be awesome actually. Number 4. Moog Surefly. Would you pay $1,000 for a two-seat hybrid aircraft? If so, boy, do I have something you're gonna love. The Moog Surefly is a two-seat hybrid Evitol aircraft that's, well, impressive. Th that's the only word I can think of to describe it. Oh, no, wait. It's helicoptastic. All right, now I'm out. Thanks to some smart design decisions, the Surefly operates on a 200-horsepower gasoline generator. that gives a 70-mile range over the space of an hour. With four propeller arms, each with two electric propellers, this is far from your conventional helicopter. This is also probably a good time to say that, no, you can't buy it for a thousand dollars. Yes, I lied, but you were interested, right? Actually, the target price for this particular aircraft is close to two hundred thousand dollars. So, rich people, you're in luck. This hybrid aircraft is very different from all electric or all gasoline models, but it's much closer to the kind of aircraft we'll see in the near future. While electric vehicles are almost definitely the end goal, hybrid aircraft will be an important part of that transition. Or you could just get one of those flying bikes and skip the middleman. Number 3. Jobby Aviation Air Taxi have you ever spent over a decade of your life on a project? For most of us, the answer will be a pretty clear no. But the people at Jobby Aviation have absolutely done that, and the project is pretty cool. Electric aircraft. That's some Iron Man business. Only, you know, with fewer weapons. Jobby Aviation has been working with Toyota and other investors to design and build a fleet of vertical takeoff and landing aircraft with a pretty clear purpose, ride hailing. Yes, Uber and Lyft may be the current go-to services for getting a ride quick, but their days are numbered. In the future, it's going to be all about the ride sharing of the skies. These future flying taxis have six rotors and seat four passengers and a pilot. Like many other Evitol aircraft, it takes off like a helicopter and shifts into flight with its tilt rotors. Okay, now that is Iron Man stuff. According to Jobby, this project intends to build a new system that will transform your daily life. Because what's cooler than turning up to brunch in your own private jet? If you're afraid of flying, you can land and get hammered. It's kind of living the dream. Number 2. Pop-Up those of us who have ever lived or even visited one of the world's most popular cities know it all too well. There's just so much traffic. So much. Thankfully for us, Ital Design and Airbus have teamed up to try and resolve this first world problem the only way they know how, creating another vehicle. Pop-Up is the first fully electric, zero-emission concept vehicle system designed to relieve the traffic congestion in the world's crowded megacities. The concept consists of three layers, an AI platform that assures a seamless travel experience, a passenger vehicle capable of both ground and air transport, and an interface that communicates in an entirely virtual environment. The passenger vehicle itself manages to bridge the automotive and aerospace worlds, bringing together the comfort and usability of a two-seater ground vehicle with a Vital air vehicle's speed and capability. Now, if that was just a bunch of gibberish words to you, same. The simple way to describe this incredible concept is that it's a passenger capsule that can transform between a car and a helicopter. In hindsight, I could have just said that and we wouldn't have had to deal with all that gibberish. Number 1. Volante Vision Concept 
Yep, it's happening. Even car companies are now getting in on the trend of flying cars. However, when it comes to the Aston Martin Volante Vision, this is much closer to James Bond than anything else you've seen. In fact, this thing will probably end up being used by MI5. It's unique in, 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 in many different regards in, in, in that respect. But you didn't hear it from us. The Volante Vision is a concept designed with a near future in mind, in which people use flying autonomous hybrid electric cars to travel through the air of cities and avoid congestion. Of course, that does raise the question, won't that just lead to congestion in the skies? But I guess that question's for another video. This cool sci-fi looking vehicle was designed by the world's most genius aerospace experts and designers, many of whom likely are big fans of sci-fi action blockbusters. Sadly, this is still just a concept, but at least we know that experts are now designing vehicles with the thought that we'll all be flying through the air in the near future. So that's kinda trippy, like Ferris Bueller always said, life moves pretty fast, one day you wake up old. True words, Ferris, true words. Now we wanna know, if you got the chance to ride in any of these vehicles, which would you choose? Let us know in the comments. Also check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.